Hello everybody, hope you're doing well. Welcome back to another episode of Not CSGO News. It's actually going to be a full dedicated video to female CSGO and the controversy and drama in the scene currently revolving around them. I know a lot of you guys watching right now are on both sides of the fence when it comes to arguing against or for female CSGO pros as well as other esports and traditional sports as well where we separate men and for women and of course I'm going to touch on that guys during this video and huge thanks to Flashy Raffles for also sponsoring today's episode. I hope you guys all enjoyed them. I'll link them down below for a great way to earn free CSGO skins as well as a great way to see free CSGO giveaways for all of you to enter. So it'll be linked down below. Let's hop into the story though, all about revolving around the recent news about IEM Katowice. It was an all CSGO uh, female pro tournament. And if you guys wondered uh, what that actually was, it was a $50,000 tournament this past weekend, which many pro players in the female scene considered to be their major. That's why Dignitas went on to win the tournament. They called themselves world champions. After talking to several female pro players out there who would not like to be named, yes, they consider this $50,000 tournament to be their major. So congrats to Dignitas and that roster for winning the major and becoming world champions, but I do want to quickly remind all of you guys of the backlash these girls faced as they first entered the CSGO scene, and this is not only in CSGO, there's other, of course, esports out there, and of course, I'm sure there's many other professional sports out there where girls face an immense amount of backlash just for being women in the scene, but I do want to, of course, remind you guys, 11 months ago when Dignitas first released this female roster, the kind of backlash they had to face when they released this video on YouTube, their first ever video introducing a female CSGO team for Dignitas, and you would expect the CSGO community to react of course in a great way. A new CSGO uh, female team and of course Dignitas fans should be ecstatic because it's a new female team for them as well. But no, the comments were tremendously horrid to actually read through and of course the dislike to like ratio was incredibly bad as well. I read comments like this throughout the entire time. There are hundreds and tens and tens of comments like that one guys and also comments extending even further on to the, the reasoning as to why women should not deserve to be in pro professional CSGO or professional esports. They're not even as good as many men out there. They don't deserve their own tournament it was incredibly tough to read through this and that's why I wanted to make this video and it's extremely tough comparing the two you compare the comments of that video as well as Sapphire she's actually the marketing director for that team Dignitas uh, that team that I just showed as well and she tweeted out things like this where yes there were actually girls younger women who are trying to come up in esports especially in CSGO who are emailing them and actually writing letters to them and contacting them and saying how inspired they were to see that female team win a major what they consider to be their major and inspired them to actually start playing the game itself and hopefully go pro one day and that was amazing to see but I also wanted to question how could a girl how could a younger lady or younger female in the scene right now possibly want to be a professional CSGO pro player if we do not support that and many of you guys out there I know I understand there's a great joke between men and women of course when you're younger the whole cooties thing it can be, it can be taken to a certain level where it's actually funny but many of these comments take it so far you guys saw one of them I'll reshow it on screen these are not professional players who are the same people that are going out and doing the booty streams or the streamers who are just showing their bodies and their cleavage for money. These are completely of a different breed. They are not those girls who are simply out there for the goal of making a certain amount of money. These are girls who are grinding a game that you guys grind as well to try and be as good as possible. And we are shutting them down so much. If you were a younger female, it's, okay, that's kind of a hard picture to imagine obviously. If you were a younger aspiring player and you were reading comments like this towards men, would that really motivate you to want to go into the scene even further? Despite this fact as well, you have to consider the options that female pro players have in esports right now, which are already extremely limited. If you are already on the on the border of actually wanting to go professional in CSGO or any other esports as a female, and you read these comments, it's probably going to weigh you backwards to going to school instead because there's not much money, as we already know, in, in inside this esport. It's very competitive, of course, for many top tier pro players, let alone women who are facing, of course, salaries that are, of course, probably below par of men because they get less viewers and I'm not trying to say they don't get equal pay I think they get equal pay for what they put out in terms of viewership but you got to imagine what these girls go through in terms of backlash the community the comments they read and how can we expect to actually grow the professional scene if we're putting down these female pro players and I'm not trying to be some hero I'm sure I've made fun of female pro players in the past but these kind of comments do have to stop eventually we're really shutting down the potential future longevity of CSGO and other esports by preventing these pro players and the female scene from arising I do think they deserve their own tournaments just like the NBA just like soccer just like other sports out there where they segregate men and women specifically just because the women cannot compete physically at a men's level does not mean they can be restricted entirely out of these tournaments they deserve to play and they certainly only help the scene that's the one point that people keep on overlooking without women the scene is certainly hurting if you have your wife or your girlfriend or your sister enjoying to watch CSGO that viewership only helps the longevity of the game and it only it only hurts us 
to put these players out of the game altogether. And I, again, I don't think it's logistically possible, but there are certain people watching right now that think that girls don't deserve their own tournaments whatsoever because they don't compete at the same level as men do, and that's logistically not right. Compare that to any other sport out there where women actually are able to play the sport, they have their own league. And to quickly argue for, uh, for I guess you could say, the male side of this argument as well, there are a few people, there's a few extremities on the female side who are also arguing that these females do not get equal rights. They don't get equal pay, equal opportunities inside the CSGO scene. I'm to shut that down right away and of course argue the opposite side as well. Um, I do want to say they do have equal opportunities. In my own opinion, I think if any female out there exhibited uh, higher level skills, skill level on the t on the actual uh, to compete with other men out there and they also uh, had the opportunity to join these teams, I don't think teams would discriminate against them because of their sex and not decide to sign them. I think any top male, uh, top male team out there organization would absolutely die. They would love to have a female pro player on their team, not only for promotion and marketing, but of course, if they actually are on par with other men out there, it could be a great grab. It would be a great morale thing for the team to see and a great diversity standpoint as well, and promotion for that team would be outstanding. So I'm not going to say there's any sort of discrimination going on out there, but I do want to say if there were female pro players out there that exhibited top level skills, they would be recruited. I know there's actually a writer I had on here a couple a couple of videos ago, I talked about her. She actually had an article that there's no promotion of, of female pro players, there's no opportunities for them to join these, uh, these male teams. There certainly is. If a male team sees a female that's actually that good, I do not think they would, they would hesitate to actually sign her and give her an equal opportunity. Uh, despite that as well, when it comes to equal pay, you have to get equal viewership as well uh, with these female pro players obviously struggling when it comes to a uh, number of tournaments they do play and the viewership is certainly hurting that's an obvious standpoint male CSGO gets more viewers than female CSGO but that's also kind of leading to my next point as well I have to respect these female pro players these uh, these aspiring female pro players these current female pro players so much and I hope you guys do it too as well if you can imagine the struggle that people like Smuya, Smuya probably a tier 2 tier 3 pro player you can imagine what he was making I think it was two months ago he had said he's making $700 a month on the bench of Epsilon and I think even when he was actually on the starting uh, starting roster it was less than two grand a month if I, I could be wrong there but you can imagine with that kind of salary as a tier 2 tier 3 male pro player you can imagine how little these female pro players are actually making in terms of salary and they play way less tournaments. Actually, uh, you guys can look refer back to Sapphire's tweet. A generic, for, I, I would say a majority of many female pro, pro teams out there play anywhere from three to six times throughout the entire year. Now, after talking to Juliano, she's a bit of an extremity. Team Res, of course, uh, higher tier teams out there, uh, what more well-known teams. Team Res being by far and away probably your most promoted team in the female scene, they could play anywhere from 10 to 15 times per year, which is an extremity. That's an extreme, that's an outlier. Most female teams play three to six times per year. And with their major being a $50,000 prize pool, you can imagine how little their other prize pools are. And their biggest event of the entire year, of the entire year, is an international event, WESG, for $150,000 total prize pool. So, I respect these girls so much. To be a tier 2, tier 3 female pro, you have to be making borderline a livable wage and they are still pursuing this as much as possible. And you have to respect that. The, the, the drive and fire these girls have throughout all this backlash, all this hate, and still, if you're not on the, one of the best teams in the world when it comes to female CSGO, you have to be doing something else to actually make a living and yet they still aspire to be professional gamers. You still have younger ladies out there wanting to be uh, pro esports players, although they have to know that they're not going to make any, any livable salaries out there, yet they still pursue it and I respect that more than anything. So all in all, I don't really know why I made this video. To be honest, I guess overall points for all of you guys out there. Yes, I know that watching people of less skill might be less entertaining. If you guys have ever watched one of my live streams, it's the most, it's the least entertaining thing of all time because I am way worse than any female pro, any male pro out there. But you don't need to restrict females from CSGO altogether. They deserve to have their own tournaments. They have so few every year. It never really interrupts your schedule of watching male CSGO. And all in all, guys, just like with the NBA, the male NBA teams and the WNBA with the women's NBA teams, you don't have to watch them both. You don't need to complain about WNBA because if you don't watch it, then what's your point of complaining? It's, it can be there as a secondary option, especially for the female aspiring female players out there and the female viewers. It only helps the game itself. And we certainly need the female side of things for esports to have the longevity that we actually need it to if we want to have careers in it ourselves like I do one day as well. So I know that a lot of you guys are going to dislike the video. You might leave hateful comments. I know there's going to probably be a top comment. It's going to be some kind of really clever joke about female CSGO. And yes, 
I might laugh at some of your guys' comments. I might find some of them funny, but some of them might also be too far and expect to be banned on the channel. So leave a comment down below what do you guys think about female CSGO. I know there's a lot of drama out there, a lot of controversy, a lot of different ideas and, and a, little, a lot of different uh, perspectives about female CSGO. I, for one, love it. I love seeing uh, aspiring female CSGO pro players. I think it only helps CSGO in general. And uh, me, being the, uh, me being one of the people out there that love the game of CSGO, I want to see it live as long as possible. I want to see it be successful and uh, that's why we need female pro players out there. So, hope you guys all enjoyed. I will see you all tomorrow back with CSGO News. Going to be a packed episode. And, uh, all right, guys, I'm Jake. Goodbye.